Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to learn how to build this security system that calls you whenever someone tries to sneak into your house by opening the window or the door. The system automatically gives you a call. This is how it works. When someone tries to open up the window or maybe the door at your house, the system will automatically give you a call to notify you that some burglars are trying to get into the house as you can see. You can see that as I opened the window, so the, the system automatically called me to notify me that some burglars or maybe robbers are trying to get into the house. So let's learn how to build this thing by first understanding how the circuits are hooked up and each and every component that we're using. Now, as you might have noticed, we're going to use some of these components. This, as we might have seen, is the read switch. So um, the way the, the read switch works is, you can see these things, these are two magnets. So when one magnet is close to another, the circuit is closed. And when it's pulled away, the circuit is opened. Now again, you can see that this right here is the Arduino Nano, and this is the famous GSM A6, which I love a lot. So on the screen, you can see how everything is hooked up the read switch right here its ground is connected of course to the ground and the digital pin is connected to default on the arduino nano and now the gsm a6 of course it has to be powered because it's got a sim card inside and it needs a lot of power that's why it needs an extra 5 volt connected over the usb now we have the TX and the RX. The TX is connected to D3 on the Arduino Nano, and so is connected, the, um, the RX is connected to D2 as well on the Arduino Nano. Now let's go ahead and do the coding stuff. So I'm gonna go, of course, and open up my Arduino IDE. I'm still using the 1.8 but it's, it works fine so the first thing we need to test is to test how this door how this window is opened and closed so we're gonna do that by first declaring the window i'm gonna i'm gonna call it int i'm gonna give a variable called window then put it in default as we say it and the next thing i'm gonna do here is to declare the window state the window state which will start with zero. Now I'm gonna go ahead in here in the void setup and identify this read switch as a sensor. So I'm gonna say pin mode, right? Of course, this thing is obvious. Now I'm gonna say that the window is an input because it's a sensor, it's not an actuator. So the next thing to do here, is, as we need to interact with the serial monitor, I'm gonna start the serial that begin so right begin right, like that then i'm gonna set the baud rate to be or maybe the speed to be 9600 now this is good i'm gonna go in the void loop because we need this thing to to happen repeatedly i'm gonna go down here and now I'm going to do something that is called to read now the value from this read switch. So I'm going to say, now I'm going to put that value into the window state. Window state, like this. I'm going to say that it's equal to the digital read. Because we're reading something from the digital pane. Now, what are we going to read now? As you might have guessed, of course, we're going to read window. Sorry. We're going to read window. Just like that so now the next thing to do is to judge and know whether the window is opened or closed so we're gonna say if using the if condition now I'm gonna say that the window I'm gonna judge to know if the window state the window state is equal to zero that way it means that the magnet here has been pulled away so I'm gonna go here a little down here and print that serial print. 
I'm gonna uh, display that it is open. So I don't wanna say that it's open because we're making it a security system. I'm gonna say beware. You know, to kind of know that some burglars are trying to sneak into the house. Now I'm gonna delay a little, delay like one second to make sure there's no error. So now we we'll go ahead here and say else. Else that means otherwise when the readings from the sensor is not zero that means one right so i'm gonna go here and copy and paste this thing copy and paste this one right here then i'm gonna say that the door is closed because the magnet is near so um i think this is it we can taste it so i'm gonna go ahead and make sure that the uh the port is connected oops my battery I'm gonna make sure that the port is connected and then try to upload. So I'm gonna hit upload. Wait a little second. This might take too long. I hate this. Yeah, of course, I'm gonna close my hand that we have to make sure that we have no errors in here. <clears throat> but I like errors. Because when you see some errors, you know what to do next to correct everything, all right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, it's uploading. I don't know why it's taking long, but. You know, let's be patient. You can see the bar going all the way from white to green. I mean, from green to right. I don't know. What I'm doing here is waiting. Okay, some signs that it's uploading. Still crossing our hands. Boom! It is uploaded. So the next thing to do is to check in the serial monitor right here. I'm going to open it up. You can see that the door or maybe the window is closed. Let me try to open it up. You can see that beware, beware, beware. Perfect. So now the next thing we need to add here is our SIM. I mean, yeah, is our 86 GSM so that when someone opens up the door it gives us a call all right so as this thing is happening as we according to plan now i'm gonna go here and first i need a library that is going to help me interact with the a6 so this one library right here is called i'm gonna call it by it is called software serial so i'm gonna say include this is how we include the library i'm gonna say that we're including the software, software serial, just like that, that H, then close, all right? So now the next thing we need to do is to define the pins, to define these pins of the A6 GSM. So now the GSM, what it does is, this one works like a phone. It can make calls, it can send SMS, but in this case here, we're gonna make it to call someone when something happens when someone opens the window or maybe the door. So I'm going to define the TX and the RX and where they are connected on this Arduino Nano. So I'm going to say software, software, serial, because this is how we, you know, link it up. Serial, let me call it my serial, serial, all right? So we specify that it's connected in three as we say three and two all right don't forget the semicolon perfect now the next thing we need to begin this serial that we declared we're gonna do it in the serial monitor i mean this in the void setup right here so i'm gonna go ahead and say my serial dot begin all right which means we're starting up this thing like this all right just like that then i'm gonna go inside here and specify the same speed of like in the serial monitor or maybe the serial begin so now perfect the next thing to do right here is to show that as the c as this serial is beginning we need to initialize this a6 so i'm gonna do it by you know just displaying the simple message i'm gonna say um, I'm gonna say serial dot print. We're doing this in the serial monitor. I'm gonna add a print line like that. 
Then a little right here, I'm gonna say starting up, starting up, serial, starting up. Maybe let's say this because we're starting up this GSM, all right? So of course we need a little delay. You know, delays help the devices to get you know a little warmed up and not cause you know different errors. So now the second thing to do right here. We need to, you know, to make sure that there is a connection, there is a handshake between the SIM, the GSM and the SIM that is inside and the network, of course. So we do that by using our declared serial, my serial, just like that, dot, print, line, then if that happens, if the handshake happened as we've been saying, we're gonna print a T, or maybe let a T stands for attention, attention, yeah, in this GSM stuff. So now, before we continue right here, we need to declare a, a function that is going to do all the work of, you know, doing the handshake and everything. So how do we do that? You know how we declare functions, we put them outside the void loop. I'm gonna come down here. Now I'm gonna call this function, I'm gonna call this function update serial. So it's, it's not gonna return any value. I'm gonna call update. I'm gonna call it void. So I'm gonna give it a data type of void and then say that it's update function, update serial. All right. It detects anything that changes and update it into the serial, my serial that we declared. So first let's start by delaying to kind of warm it up. I'm gonna give it a hundred milliseconds. Now the next thing to take care of right here is, the next thing to take care of right here is, while, we're gonna say that while, the serial is available, all right? When, some, when of course, if there is a connection, if something happened, the serial to the GSM, I mean, available, what happened? What happens? We're gonna display my serial. We're gonna forward the received value into the into the GSM. All right, serial. So now my serial. That right, just like that. Close. Then I'm gonna here and say serial. Dot read. Actually, what it means is right here. When we print this AT, we are like giving the command of attention. The attention means that, you know, we're waiting, all right? The serial, the, the GSM knows that it's waiting. So we are grabbing that serial a variable, which means AT, and we're sending it into the my serial, which is a way of communicating with this GSM. So here, of course, as you might have heard, now we're forwarding the received value which is AT to the serial port of the GSM all right now next that's again while now now while my serial I'm gonna copy this oh, sorry now my serial to read now, the value that we read from the serial of the, yeah, of the um, serial monitor is sent to the serial of the GSM through the uh, serial port, all right? Now, we, as we're getting it right here, we need now to forward it to the serial, to the software, the software that we're using to receive the serial port, all right? So, um... We're gonna do it by saying my serial now, serial dot right, that's right, just like that, close. Then I'm gonna go ahead and say my serial dot read, just like that. Perfect. Now the next thing we need to do right here is, so I'm gonna make sure that everything is connected, yeah, perfect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and call this one 
as we send the AT command right here. Perfect. As we send the AT command. So now this is awesome. So I'm going to go down here again. Now we need to make a function that is going to call whenever the door is open, the, the door or maybe the window is open. So I'm going to, I'm going to go here and make that function. I'm going to, of course, it's not going to return any value. I'm going to give it the data type of void and then call it make, make call. All right. Just like that. So now what it's going to do here is to print to the serial of the GSM serial dot print line. Now it's going to use a command that is called ATD, which means attention dialing, which means we are calling. So I'm going to put in the number that I need to call, which is my number 079. Let me maybe copy it. That's, that'd be great for no errors. All right put it right here so I'm starting with the country code and everything so now of course I'm gonna update the serial call the function to update the serial update serial serial just like that inside of this make call function all right I'm gonna copy this to make sure no error happened paste it right here and add the semicolon go down a little so we need to delay I'm gonna delay two seconds which is 2,000 microseconds all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and print something serial I mean again so this means we've been calling for two seconds now if the it hangs up we need to notify that it's hanging up so we're going to say that by saying my serial dot print line and then give it a command of hanging up, which means attention, I mean, A-T-H, A-T-H, which means, which stands for hanging up. Then, of course, we're going to go ahead again and update the serial of the GSM. So I think this is it. The next thing we need to do here is compile. The next thing we need to do here is compile. There is an error where here, forgetting the semicolon, do it again. So um, there's something wrong again, which is uh, avoid update serial. I'm going to check what's going on. Oh, all right. We need this is a function. Do that again. So done compiling, let's now hit upload. Boom, Shazam, it's done uploading. Now let's go to the serial monitor, see what's going on. You can see that the, it's starting the system, what's going on. 